It doesn't have an official name, but this is part of why I say it's who's looking at it rather than what it says. Um, and I think of those those Escher drawings where you know the fish kind of shade into birds. Um, and 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 somebody said this very well. Um, uh, Richard Macedo, who was at the time a professor at Harvard, uh, political scientist, said some people look at the Constitution and see islands of individual liberty in a sea of government power. Other people look at it and see islands of government power in a sea of individual liberty. And I personally don't understand one of those perspectives, but uh, the other one is very clearly there that we, and I, I alluded to it earlier, we do not need the Constitution to give us rights. We are a government that is founded on the precept that all people have inherent human rights and that government's uh, responsibility is to protect those rights. The purpose of the Constitution with respect to individual liberty was not to dole out a few liberties that happen to be named in the text of the Constitution, but rather, as the preamble says, to secure the blessings of liberty that we already had. The Constitution rather created a government of strictly limited powers. Congress has only those powers that are here and granted. And the reason why there was no Bill of Rights in the original Constitution was be not because the framers opposed human rights, but because they had created a government whose powers did not include the power to infringe our rights in the first place. So why did they need to give a catalog of some of the rights that the government had no power to infringe? In fact, there was a potential downside to doing that, of creating a negative implication that if the right were not articulated, that somehow the government had the power to infringe on it, which is why the Bill of Rights included the Ninth Amendment, to make it even clearer than it had already been, um, that the fact that some rights are recited doesn't mean that the government has the power to invade any other pre-existing inherent natural human rights. Thank you.